And they've got life gain. Hmm. Torrent Vankley. Okay. So they've got push as well. Wow, lots of push. I don't like the visage play here. Uh, guess this is the play. Not really happy about this play, but we got to level good stuff. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. It's tricky. Oh, you, you skewed up to my brood queen. You do that. It's not happening. Well, maybe, maybe it might. Maybe it might happen. I think this is grave matriarch value here. And Calamity Fiend value. No shamany goodness for you. I miss leveling the Frost Tracker, which is painful. But I like the Calamity Fiend. Oh, it's come back round. It's fine. Fine. This probably would die. Wow. Don't like that. One bit. This could be bad. I'm gonna go ahead and call this very bad. Is he fiend? I'll play with beta to debuff this, I think. It's this, by the way, but uh like he don't play smart. Like he plays reckless. Go. I'm not convinced this deck is working how it should be supposed to be working at this stage. Oh Venom Fang. Save the day, Venom. Level of gluttons. Hmm. Bye, noob. Oh. Mirian's going. By any number is saying bye, noob. I don't like who's going. What's going on? Mirian, bye. Thanks for watching. Very much appreciated. Oh, dear. This invite lasher is going to kill us. Absolutely kill us. Couldn't think of anything else to say. Panics. Panics. It's good. Calamity Fiend still lives. That's the hashtag. Um, I was going to play a Glutton Fiend, but uh. Worried Patriarch plus Venom Fang. Seems a little bit too strong to pass up. Um. I don't think this board favours us late game. Don't know what's going on here. But I'm fine strong. We're gonna have some real problems with the Mauler though. Oh, here we go. Here's our friends. A little Calamity Fiend. And a Brood Horror. Wow, loads of shamans. Like practically endless shamans. Yeah, this is a damage pushing deck. It's got loads of torrents. It'll be interesting to see how it does. It's doing okay. Avalanche. Do not like that avalanche. What I can do about that avalanche. Three minus three. Really? 
just go for it. Let's not do unnecessary blocks here. What have we got here? Wow. Absolutely nothing. Pretty much nothing here. It's bad. Crusher, Dr. Frankenbaum. I really don't know what we've been leveling. That's all here. Right, that's it. That's an issue right there. It's all so bad. Hmm. Hmm. Their damage push is going to be pretty, pretty crazy. I think I'm going to go ahead and cool that we've lost this one. They've got so much damage potential. Jeez, really? This is what you give me? Thanks, deck. Oh, jeez. This doesn't even deal with this. Blimey. Blimey O'Reilly. This is tricky. Got to deal with that, right? Numbers. I'll still survive. Yeah. Such a bad play here. Such a bad play. We're not we're not pushing nearly enough damage. Look at that. <sighs> Blimey. Well, that's gone that's gone pretty badly so far. Um Yeah, not liking that. Is this game? Feels like that could have been a lot worse, actually. Right. Can't really afford to take seven. Can't really afford to not open lane this fiend. Ignore that. That's all good. Everything's happy. Pushing a whopping six damage. Okay, here we go. Too little, too late. Probably. Yeah, we're dead. Pretty much dead, aren't we? Can't deal with those multiple lanes. Sad face. Uh, this is the problem with a Calamity Fiend. It's one drawback. GG, Arizona. That was uh, pretty brutal, folks, wasn't it? Pretty brutal. Two Easlings left. Ooh, blimey, that was bad. Absolutely wrecked. wrecked. You can go for Robin's results, or you could press the battle button. Whatever you decide, buddy, pal. Go.
everything that was necessary for that stag, but uh pushing that extra damage, nicely done. That was a really nice example of a fast paced deck there. Um Don't know if Frankenbaum's got what it takes. Has he got the ointment for my saltiness? Find out. The next do -do. Do -do -do. Nottam. See what Nottam's got. Do -do 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 -do. Right. It's like I'm on the play. I think I need strong cards in this PL. Strong cards. Another Swamp Moss Ancient? Yeah. I think that's the play. Lamacy Fiend. Swamp Moss Ancients. You can pass on one Frunk and Barb. I feel that's, feel that's acceptable. Lamacy Fiend. We need a decent board position after this thing. I think that was what went wrong. We Glutton Fiend. And it was just like, hmm. Breed Horror. Knowing when to play Breed Horror seems key as well. I think I really misplayed the Breed Horror in that uh, other game. It didn't help matters. What has Nottingham got? So, I could play Nottingham. What you got for me, buddy? Come on, Nottingham. Show me what you're working with. I think Never Scale is going to be quite. How much you strong, though? Well, I think this is Clamacy value here. Probably just going to drop a token in the way though. So, it's talking about tokens though. Brood Queen time. Brood Queen hasn't done a lot for us this, fortunately. These games. I feel like Free Queen could do a whole lot more for us. Um, and is refusing to. Oh, the scarred bin. Got any plants? We've got we've got Torograph Mender. Maybe time to uh get the old Tormogoyf Guardian out. Um there you go. There's the there's the branch taken. Go ahead and battle. Is that seven? Rude Queen. Go ahead and strip my deck of the uh You little plant. I know it's kind of a bit of a risky play here. But uh I think so. I think that's the right play there. Okay, we've got Spirit Cleave. We got Venom Fang and Doctor Frankenbaum. Do you like a bit of a Torrent Witch though? Brood Horror could make an appearance. Actually, could be even a Spirit Cleave. They're playing Shard Craw Crusher. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're going to get Fen Venom Fang value here. I don't really want to lose my, uh, Torrent Witch, actually.
that. Let's get rid of the three folk. Torrent Witch there. Battle. That seems good. Pushing nine Easelings worth of damage. Um. Yeah. Trying to deter them from side lane plays, in theory, but not really. They're probably going to eat this Brood Queen, which will be sad. Sad news, really, for us. Probably level a Glutton. Yeah, they've got some pretty nasty things. Might not drop the Swamp Ancient. I think we open lane. Done. It's cool, they're still... Do that. Do this. I think that's the right play. Possibly. Possibly, it's a bit sketchy. Okay, cool. Might be a Visions play here. Theory could have set up for one. Uh, be strong. They're probably going to take out this though. Maybe that's not. Are they what a fourteen fourteen regenerator? The L two is pretty good. You still have that twelve to deal with. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go big. Let's go big or go home. Very big, Tormagoyf. Go home. And I'm saying, do 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 do. Looking good. One Otum. So do this. Aim for the free and O dream. Free and O dream. Oh dear. Hopefully that trade will go through. It probably get some good value out of these lot. Okay, Notum. Let's see what are we seeing. This is going to be Branch Weaver or Warclaw token that's going to take this out. Fortunately. Yep, that seems strong. It's okay. Deadbolt. Okay. Okay. Which case? I don't think Visions is the play here. I think banishing that little spine leaf, dropping the mauler, pushing the damage. Do we give them an extra card to draw into? But we've also got more lanes that we're threatening. Here's Torrent Witch yeah, and Venom Fang. They're good. Torrent Witch will help put regeneration on Tormogoyf. Garden. Which is okay as a 12 12. It's nothing to write home about. Um, I really want to level the tracker as well if we can. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Do we do that? I feel like we do that. Do that. Feel like it's grew up something with the witch. Drop the venom fang, maybe. Okay. Double abyssal war. Double abyssal war. For complete board craziness. That's a Frankenbarm. I see you've gone the uh, Frankenbarm route as well. Okay. Has cleared some reason. Getting place. Torrent Witch seems to like the play here. A Spirit Torrent. Level up that Guardian. Venom Fang would be strong. Maybe a Frostwell Tracker. I think we hold on to our board supremacy. Yeah. They may be able to deal with old Tomograph Guardian. They may have an 11 power creature. They may do. Um, wow, look at this. Look at this lovely thing. Do we howl? We oh, can't howl for the win yet. I think we got this game. I think. I think we're sitting pretty. Put pressure on. Swamp Moss Ancients doing a lot of the hard work here. Okay, I'm happy with that trade. Happy with that trade.
that's also okay. Calamity Fiend that off the table. Battle. I don't think we've got the Brood Fang. Brock. Probably would have been smart to drop the uh but this like helps push damage anyway. Okay. Interesting. Yep, that's not enough though, is it? Just go ahead and uh probably just go ahead and battle. There we go, winnage. That was good. Good little bit of a uh, push for damage there. Brood Queen actually doing the business. Deciding whether we uh, get enough money for another draft, which we probably won't do, because uh, I believe Hexters is uh, doing some drafting. And who could pass up watching Hexters, even without the moustache? I mean, come on. Uh, hey, Hexters isn't, is he? Uh, just. Maybe it's refreshing Twitch. Refreshing Twitch, folks. I'm on the ball. I'm on the ball, folks. Ooh. Artificial. What a name. Good luck, Artificial. On a clean fight. No uh, Bramble Trackers. No Batter Hides. On the play. Always on the play. Not really happy with this. Wow. Hector is uh going strong, folks. Going strong. Do 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 Dr. Bomb in the house. Right. Bomb. Maybe the Mauler. Maybe the Wirewood Prior Patriarch. Not sure the way it Wirewood Patriarch kind of works in this deck. It's a bit debatable. A bit debatable. Looks like it's trading. Burden charge. Like it's not charging. That looks like a spirit. Spirit cleave. Spirit cleave. Another bomb. Probably a wild patriarch, actually. Yeah, definitely leveling spirit cleave. No runaway Hydra for you! Not a brilliant board position. Oh, here comes Swampy. Get old Swampy. Flamity Fiend. Help shore up our position. It's a shame passing on the Torrent Witch. Real shame. Might get Grove Huntress value or Clamity Fiend value here. So that would be pretty good. I mean, a 3 7, it's a pretty tough body. To deal with. Um, let's see, see what they drop. So we know the Necrim as well. Our officials rocking the same colours. So interesting. The Hungering Strike's been levelled up, so that's going to be pretty pretty strong board swing. So we have to watch out for that. Can mess us up. Shard plate. We, pun we punish the shard plate. Oh yes we do! Anything else? No, we don't punish them. That is, that is sad. Sad. Gotta stop a runaway shard plate though. Oh, Dissing Cypher, another strong card. Be strong. We are get probably gonna get punished there very badly. Very badly. Can't over overemphasize much how much we're probably gonna get punished. 
but uh we shall see maybe a hungering strike play here and a frost wild tracker probably here feel a verdant charge coming on make me cry Nice level our vision. Not really. Frost Royal Track is going to be pretty much a must. If they're debuffing our creatures, making that, we're going to need Tracker Advantage to help us. With that definitely. I think we. I think we have a fairly strong deal two. Not as strong as them though. Either thing. They're trading. Okay. That mall is going to be pretty bad to deal with. Could level up the uh, Hungering Strike. I'm going to level up this instead. Just to give me a little bit more board presence. A little bit more. And if we draw into our Wildwood Tracker, it could be pretty strong. Oh, sorry, Wayward pa Patriarch. That's kind of the reason why I did it. No. You're a bit late to the party, Brood Queen. A bit late to the party. Probably going to level it, though. I haven't got a lot else on the table. And yet again, it puts more bodies on the table. Uh, we're kind of banking on the Patriarch, really, at this point. Patriarch. Okay. So, the p yeah. Okay, we get fang value potentially. What else are you dropping? So we got this. hungering strike. We don't get fang value, but we probably get brave bottom value. Yeah. Potentially. Can't believe we're only pushing two Uslings worth of damage, folks. Don't know. I'm not looking forward to it. They've just got endless supply of Maulers. I don't really have an answer to the Maulers. Here's the Patriarch. <sighs> Potentially will help. Potentially. It's Warflora. Patriarch blowout? I feel like it's going to be a Patriot blowout. You have a play. Oh no. Sad times. Sad times. Which debuff does this have? Minus three, minus three. So we take care of that. Just Patriot trigger off. Plus three, plus three. That seems pretty solid. Um, put the mender there, buffing the patriarch or self buffing itself. Pretty solid. They probably the calamity thing there, maybe. Patriarch post combat attack the brood fang. Yeah, I like the patriarch calamity fiend. Brood Fang Sackage play here. Take care of that. Could just afford to ignore it. Maybe. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, I think we ignore it. Rather fill up the lanes. Here we go, we've got an answer for it. A lot more elegant answer for it. And that gives poison. Poison's pretty strong in this deck. Yeah, I think that was the play. I think that was the right play. Shard plate. Oh, you make me sad. That is going to trade at the moment. But they've got siphons. All sorts. 
yeah, they they haven't got siphons this. Pretty good. Do I take the Sorrow Harvester out to push an extra 8 damage? Over the 4, keep my uh, good cards healthy. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty strong. Play there. Get the Brood Fang. Take out that. Um, don't want an empty lane, so let's Grave Matriarch here. Do that. Yeah. Just want my monster. Followed by strength and numbers, or even a visage play. Might be able to get away with a cheeky visage play here. Swampless Agent will address their Maulers. Strength and Numbers. They don't drop a Mauler across the Patriarch to get some value. Get some more. Don't like where this is going. Seems like the wrong sequence. Maybe they didn't have an Abomination? Ouch! Rough draw. This can Cypher. Okay. How can we punish that? We can't really punish it with a anything. I think we just... Swamp Moss Lurker. Strength for numbers for the boomerang. We're not really correcting very much here. But that's a pretty strong threat, even in PL3. Here we go. Oh, Patriarch! And Dissian Brood Queen. Nice. What's that? Seven. It's those two basically if they survive. Or maybe the queen. We'd have to play first anyway, which is good for sequencing. They've got to address that Swamp Moss Agent, right? That Swamp Moss Agent is like threatening to eat their boat. Yeah, they address some good cards. I think we go battle. No, we push damage. Damage. D. Go ahead and push that damage. Like it's not a thing. Look at that, 16. This is a pretty strong board. We passed our how, so we can't rely on our how. They have siphons and stuff, but I'm quite happy with it. This less so. Uh, I mean, these are looking pretty reasonable. That's probably our biggest threat, and that's not bad, especially with hunger and strikes and tricks. This trade will probably go through, or they use up valuable resources making it happen. Um, not even a trade. Magic resource, of course. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it's looking pretty, pretty decisive. Ooh, ouch. Barracuda. It's pretty strong. Bit of lame village there. Yeah, that's definitely a though. Definitely. Just make sure we clear up stuff. I think it was necessary. I don't like that Mauler. I feared it all games. That's the right play. Getting rid of the Mauler. Definitely the right play. There we go. Okay, we've earned 250 silver. Look at that elite ticket. I'm in the big boy league now, folks. Big boy league. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Oh, Portal Shade. Oh, what, what is this legend? 
Scythe of Tyridon. Seems pretty good. Leyline Demon. Leyline Demon seems Abyssal more pretty nice. Yeah, I'm liking that. That was good. Right, folks. I think it's time for the uh, wrap up wrap. Do, 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 do. Can I have a little bit of themes and suggestions? Hey there, side real NZ and Rememical54. Thanks for joining us. Uh, feel free to catch the archive videos or eventually my videos will be on YouTube. Wrap up wrap. Do, do, do. Themes and suggestions. I know! I, we did well, didn't we, folks? We did well. Um, you got some. Did we get 4 and 0? I don't know. Um, men of mine operators in the house, making operations fa play fast and loose. We've got to get the spruce goose back into your hand with the Arrow Knight Squadron. I don't even know if it'd be alright. Cerebral Scout, to saving the day, leveling everything all the way. When things aren't really going well, let's lay down the Ark of Vist and let all hell break loose. Men of mine overseers making things run smooth. My rank ups are pretty harsh and ain't rude. I don't think I whiffed a hand with the Cerebrals. It's pretty good when you got men of mines on your team. I'm not saying that it was all full steam ahead. I did think I lose the game, but I'm going to let that one slide because men of, men of mine madness was pretty fine. Uh, that was a wrap up rap about men of mind. Madness, where I pretty much drafted all Meta Mines. We had Cerebral Scouts, we had the Archivist. It was pretty sick, it was pretty sick. I had like, on average, probably like six or seven cards in my hand. Quite often, we had the Adepts drawing in there. Um, another wrap up rap. I don't know. I feel like I have to play tribute to the uh, big leads. Big league plays, I'm on my way. Graduation, I feel like it is today. I've pretty much done three and one and four and oh. Elite tickets is all the things I know. I've got a greed for the hunger, for the hunger for the greed. I've got the elite tickets on my mind and I feel like I'm on speed when I make those fine plays and Tom McGoy think all day, banishing those plants away. When I feel like I don't have any other answers, it's Swamp Moss Ancient to the rescue. Gun in charge, laying down fear, watch my creatures grow, regeneration. Near misses avoided when I vision its uh, abhorrent with my abominations. When Dr. Frankenbaum makes the plays for the nation, I'm grinding down the health total. Glutton's greedy as can be when the damage goes flow. What's the reason me to deplete so? How's for the win? We've had so many today. I've been the plucky hero. Thank you for joining me with graduation day. Well, everybody, that was a wrap-up wrap about how I've kind of on the borderline of being able to do competitive draft. Watch out, Soulforge World. The uh, threat, threat of misplays in competitive draft is pretty real. We made some questionable plays throughout the day. We've been streaming for a long time, so I'd like to thank people that stuck with me all the way through. It's been 8 hours and 30, 30 minutes of pure Soulforge goodness. Um, I'd like to thank Divine Singularity, Magical Source, of course, Hero Scourge, um, Empoitus for his draft coupon, helped us power in, and the uh, heroics they lent me for uh, getting into the drafty goodness. Um, Side Reel, thanks for joining us and checking out the stream. Um, Hero Scourge, always a pleasure, and so many other people. It's been good. So, wherever you are, goodbye, good morning, good afternoon, good Christmas. I don't know where Christmas came from. But it's there. Have a good Christmas when it comes around, right, folks? Uh, please check out the other Soulforge streamers. Good guy and really good. I mean, everybody in the Soulforge com well, not everybody, but a lot of people in the Soulforge community have been really generous, really supportive. I really appreciate all the help and tips and stuff. Peace out. Please check out the other Soulforge streamers. We have Jim Boz, uh, Grapes, uh, um, pretty good, funny, funny antics with his giveaways and his. Pretty tight progeny decks. We've got uh, Hugo Memoirs, X Player One, and Tower Dwen, and the man himself. I like to call him Hydrocles, 
it's Hector's. Um, I'm going to go and join Hector's channel, uh, and probably once Hector's finished, join Jimbo Grapes. So uh, please join me if you haven't had enough Soul Forge, and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye. I'm waving. I'm seriously, I'm waving to the screen. I don't know why I do it every time. Thanks for watching, folks.